This movie is two and a half hours, and there are great performances by everyone involved. Especially Christian Bale. You know, he's such a method actor, he actually went back in time to play a nine-year-old when he was really 27. I simply am not there. Moving on. There are great performances by the likes of Miranda Richardson, Joe Penaliano, and especially John Malkovich. Malkovich? Malkovich, Malkovich. Malkovich, Malkovich. Malkovich, Malkovich, Malkovich. Malkovich, Malkovich. Malkovich! Malkovich. Malkovich, Malkovich, Mal Malkovich, 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 Empire of the Malkovich. This movie is self-indulgent. The characters are really interesting, but that's all it's got going for it. The plot's nothing. It can't keep me awake for two and a half hours. Mal, uh, this is St Spielberg's transitional phase. You can tell he was making more adult fare like this and the color purple. The bad news is this film is just uneven. If you don't shut your fucking mouth, I will kill you. The good news is that this movie prepares Spielberg for more serious roles like Schindler's List, Saving Private Ryan, and Munich. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. But as always, Bale elevates the material. Two to seven. Sabrina, don't just stare at it. Eat it. I want sushi. Me too. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Call this archaeology. Hello, we begin with a fantastic film, The Last Crusade. Why are you speaking German? Oh, it's because of the German presence in the film. You mean the Nazis? Yes. You're not going to do this during Schindler's List, are you? Also, we begin with a... No, don't do it now either! Oh, well, our hero is looking for the Holy Grail, and this time he's accompanied by his father, played by Sean Connery. Shuck on it, Trebek. <laughs> shuck it long, and shuck it hard. This movie calls back to the tone of the first film, which uses the Nazis as villains, and also religious artifacts. What other artifact in all of history has more lore than the Holy Grail? That's the cup of a carpenter. Harrison Ford gives his best performance of the three films. Oh, before time. Do you intend to leave us standing on the doorstep all day with the wrench? Now look, that gun and caught a sniffle. Are you expected? Do not take that tone with me, my good man. Now battle off and tell Baron Brunwald that Lord Clarence MacDonald and his lovely assistant are here to view the tapestries. But really, the best part of the movie are the three challenges that Indy has to face in order to get the Holy Grail. Doc! What is your name? Sir Galahad of Camelot. What is your quest? I seek the grail. What is your favorite color? Blue. No, yellow. It's just as good as Temple of Doom, but not as good as Raiders. Nine out of ten. Ich gebe es ein Art von Sein, weil die Deutsche nicht gewinnen haben. What'd you say? I said it was great. Wunderbar. How did I get out of that one? You didn't get out, Pete. Well, you know, I'm dead or I'm, I'm crazy. You're not crazy, Pete. I'm dead. That's right. People seem to tell me that Always is a mediocre movie. They lied. It's terrible. And it aggravates me. It aggravates me so much that I, I, uh, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to turn it over to my colleague here. Really? Thank you. Wait, wait. Unless you liked it. Oh, God, no. no. All yours. Okay. So, aside from Holly Hunter, who actually did a pretty good job in this movie, 
Everybody else just shits the money bed, from top to bottom, too. All these people just infuriate me. I mean, we got Richard Dreyfus, who plays this whiny little piss ant, and all he does is fly his little aeroplane around and put out fires. John Goodman is his oversized counterpart, and he does absolutely nothing. Now, you might ask why that's a problem. Well, because it's John fucking Goodman. He should be in something better. As far as Audrey Hepburn's concerned, well, we're just sorry you had to be a part of this. And then there's Brad Johnson. And then there's Brad Johnson. Who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? You know what you did? You know what you did, Brad Johnson? You took this movie and... I apologize to Holly Hunter. Her choices in men in this film were Richard Dreyfus, who appears to be 97, and Brad Johnson, that dickhead. Dickhead Brad look, Johnson. Look, look, look. This is the first time that Spielberg actually took on two feature films in a year. And while this became a common practice later down the line and produced quality films, not this time. Always will always be terrible. Five out of ten. And Holly Hunter looks good in a white dress. Holly Hunter looks like a 13-year-old gymnast. Four out of ten. You chose poorly. Jesus Christ, Brad Johnson. We hope you enjoyed our review of Spielberg the 80s. We're taking a break from the beard for a little while and switching to something a little bit more magical. There's no such thing as magic. Dear Mr. Potter, you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Soon, you and your schoolmates will join us here and your education in the magical arts shall begin. Join us next time when we storm the castle. Winter is coming for you, Hogwarts.